This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. As an added bonus, Ageless Multi Collagen is non GMO and there's zero artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, gluten, or antibiotics. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. Um, but so here's the situation though. We have, um, there are millions of Americans um, uh, almost all white, almost all Republicans, who somehow need to be deprogrammed. They're, it, 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 it's as if they, don't, they, they, they are members of a cult, the Trumpist cult, uh, and, and who have to be deprogrammed. Do you have any idea how we, <laughs> go, how we start that process? Ugh, what is it with this group of people, the media, and their seemingly inherent desire to just wipe out all political opposition? I mean, really, they're always having these fantasies about their political opposition dying off as if everybody who opposes them is just some old white person or they want us all deported or cleansed like this ABC News reporter suggested needs to happen. Trump will be an ex-president in 13 days. The fact is that getting rid of Trump is the easy part. Cleansing the movement he commands is going to be something else. Welcome back, everyone. As of right now, the Democrat Party and their media have basically unchecked power and are currently using it to wipe out the ability of their political opposition to have a voice or even participate in the system. They're basically creating two Americas with a two-tier system of standards, rights, and laws. They can protest, you can't. They can riot, you can't. Not that I'm in any way endorsing riots. I've consistently been against them no matter who they're coming from. But let's be honest here. The vast, vast, vast majority of violence and rioting that we see in this country comes from the left. They can have their own social media platforms, places where they can meet up, discuss topics and organize, places where their nebulous standards are used one way against those they disagree with. While you're not even allowed to have your own platform. Their elections are legitimate, while anytime you win, the country is put through four to eight years of resistance from the Democrats and their media. You get the idea. What's becoming increasingly disturbing is the language that's being used by powerful leftists in the media about their fellow Americans who just happen to disagree with them politically. Not only do you have them talking about reprogramming and cleansing those that are blocking their total power, but you even have the principal counsel for PBS saying that they want to do some pretty heinous things to Trump supporters. Now, before I go any further, just a quick note. I just want to say this video does seem to be edited as videos tend to be, but I have I haven't seen the full version yet and I can't say for certain that this video hasn't been manipulated in some way. Anyone buy dreams? You go through all the Republican voters and Homeland Security will take your children. Okay? And we'll put them into the education Amen. And a woman. What are we going to do if we don't like you? You're going to White House and throw Molotov cocktails. Kids who are growing up, knowing nothing but Trump, you know, for four years, you got to wonder what else they're going to be like. Are we raising a generation of intolerant, horrible you know, people, horrible kids? Enlightenment kids. Right. They're nice. They have Sesame Street characters in the classroom, and they watch PBS all day. Dumb. You know, most people are dumb. Great, is like COVID is spiking in all the red states right now. So that's great. A lot of them are like sick and dying. I gotta tell you, I don't have a hard time believing that this video is real just based on the four year hate fest that our media has subjected this country to. This does remind me of another Veritas video that I don't think was ever discredited showing a Bernie Sanders field organizer who is now the second staffer to be caught praising communist totalitarianism. He says he wants to kill people in violent revolution and put counter revolutionaries in prison. Seeing as how we're against communism, I guess that would make us the counter revolutionaries. I'm rich. I always said, you know, I'm a communist. I'm ready to start tearing bricks up and start fighting. 
I'm not. I'm no, no cop, bro. I'm, I'm, I'll straight up, I'll straight up get arms. I want to learn how to shoot and go train. I'm ready for the revolution, bro. All right. Do the rich? Cop is when we send all the Republicans to the re-education. <laughs> Can you imagine Mitch McConnell? Oh God, he wouldn't survive. A day. Lindsey Graham. I like realize they're founded as re-education, right? The first gulag that was open, have you heard about the Bellamore Canal? People came from America to work in the Bellamore Canal for the Soviet project, for the communist project. Wow. And this beautiful thing. I only learned this shit in college when I started studying the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was not horrible. No, it wasn't. I mean, for women's rights, the Soviet Union is, I think, the most progressive place to date in the world. Or how about the California regional director of the DNC, David Atkins, who suggested, quote, seriously, how do you deprogram 75 million people? Where do you start? Fox? Facebook? We have to start thinking in terms of post-World War II Germany or Japan. This is not your standard partisan policy disagreement. This is a conspiracy theory fooled belligerent death cult against reality and basic decency. No, this is literally the Democrats and their media labeling anything that stands in opposition to them a conspiracy theory. Folks, these people want you to think that Trump came out of nowhere and then suddenly everyone distrusted the media and started thinking that Democrats were communists. It's actually nothing new. For as long as I've been into politics, since the W. Bush administration, we've been having the exact same arguments. The only thing that changed is that the right started to get a better foothold against the left in these culture wars. And then as soon as we started blowing up on social media, they had to put it into it. Now they think they're going to fix that by any means necessary. And as you can see here, their ability to rationalize is astounding. With mainstream discussions of re-educating 75 million Americans for having a difference of opinion. That's it for this one. Please make sure to hit that like button and share as nobody even knows I exist anymore. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be around here given the current insane climate. So make sure to follow me on my main website on Gab, on BitChute, on Odyssey, on Rubble, DLive, and CloudHub. They're not going to get rid of me that easily. If you want to support this channel or follow me on any of those other platforms, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.